Alright guys, presentation of the new tank. About a minute after we just filled the brim up, started the filter up. And three, two, one. Ta-da. Obviously it's still a little crowdy. Uh as we expected with new newly set up tanks. Uh not very much coverage on the gravel, but we still need to get some more stock from our stem plants for some bomba. I wasn't sure how big this sword was going to be, so I couldn't decide if I was going to need any secondary plants other than this hair grass. And I uh, put some java moss in there, I got a rock, hair grass over there, giant clump of hair grass right there, I got some rocks holding it down, got some gravel, which made it rocks, so yeah, rocks. And even almost filled to the brim, we still got all this, all these leaves poking out from the water surface, and uh, it's actually really cool. Uh, put some acid buffer in the gravel, or not in the gravel, but in the water, and it sunk to the gravel. And in this case, since it's gravel, it sunk through the gravel, through the gravel, and uh, before I put the gravel, I was actually opting to uh, put the acid buffer down then, but then I got a little bit worried if something went wrong, so I just went the other method. Uh, and this filter, I don't actually have any filter cartridges right now, so I'm actually using live Java moss to uh, filter the water mechanically, and then I've got biological media, and if, once I get some more Java moss off, it's really, uh, Stuff that up and then get, get, maybe get another cartridge or get some cartridge put in there and then just stuff that basket in it up with the uh, Java moss. This Java moss actually is thriving in there. The little bit of light that it gets and uh, obviously all the nutrients.